military professors that uh, used to be in war colleges and the like are training people like uh, ex-Russian KGB and uh, Spetsnaz people right here on American soil. I've seen it with my own two eyes, along with other people, other geologists. By the way, I'm still a geologist, still do geological survey work. However, I don't work for the government anymore. I uh, took my uh, security clearance and all my government uh, stuff and uh, cut it up and sent it back to the, pardon my French, uh, SOBs. Uh, when I found out that a number of these 131 deep underground military bases are being used to subvert the Constitution of these United States and its people, I says, that is enough. I, I can't possibly be connected. Oh, well, Mr. Schneider, you can't quit, they said. Well, I says, yes, I can. I'm an individual, I'm going to quit, and uh, I'm walking off the job. And he says, so I got arrested and casually told, well, you, you got to finish a job. And so I, I caved into that part, and I finished three weeks, and then I, uh, uh, at that time my father was dying, and uh, I was allowed home, and uh, I never went back for my paychecks. Uh, don't intend to either. These people are beginning to show signs of being our utmost enemy. I'm talking about military people now engaged in training foreign troops on American soil, clearly against the Bill of Rights and the U.S. Constitution. It's, it's, it's why we formed a government, why our forefathers formed a government, a republic, of these United States in the first place, way back 200 plus years ago. Because the drawing and quartering of soldiers, uh, taxation without representation, law by edict, otherwise known as today's version, uh, executive order, among other things. The very reasons that we became, in quote, free, a free republic, a free society, possibly one of the greatest nations to ever uh, be a nation on this earth um, were instilled in our founding fathers that are now so far away from uh, uh, the people now running our federal government structure. So I'm here today to touch upon a number of subjects, uh, one being that these underground bases, uh, roughly uh, uh, over three of them per state, there's now instead of 12 prison camps, there's 39, that's almost one per state. Um, they're building two prison camps every seven, seven months. They're building two underground me uh, military bases every year. Each one of these military bases, by the way, these underground military bases, they cost somewhere between 17 and 26 billion dollars, billion dollars. They employ 1,800 to 10,000 workers each in varying grades of uh, skill. 